Hello, Chair Longley and members of the board. I'm Brian Smith, and I serve as the Water Quality Certification Program Manager for the region. The Water Quality Certification Program regulates the removal or placement of materials in wetlands and waterways in the state to ensure that the proposed activity will comply with state water quality standards. Such discharges may result from navigational dredging, flood control channelization, levee construction, channel clearing, fill of wetlands for development, bridge piers, docks, or other activities. The program also regulates hydropower projects that require a license from the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, such as hydroelectric dams, power plants, and other facilities. Under Section 401 of the Federal Clean Water Act, every applicant for a federal permit or license for any activity that may result in a discharge to a water body must obtain state certification that the proposed activity will comply with state water quality standards. In this video, a side channel is being developed to enhance salmon spawning habitat in the Sacramento River near Redding. The water quality certification for this project ensured that turbidity impacts from the project were limited to short durations and didn't cause impacts outside of the monitoring area. The program also implements the state and federal wetlands no net loss policies with goals of compensating for wetland loss due to development with wetland reclamation, mitigation, and restoration so that the total net acres of wetlands does not decrease. A core responsibility of the program is to review applications for 401 water quality certification for projects that involve dredge and fill discharges to water, including wetlands, and that require U.S. Army Corps of Engineers permits under Section 404 of the Clean Water Act. Staffing resources consist of seven and a half personnel years dedicated to the water quality certification program. The resources are distributed between the region's three offices, with one PY in the Fresno office, two in Redding, and four and a half in Sacramento. We receive applications and issue water quality certifications for approximately 250 or more projects each year. The number of applications varies from year to year due to a number of uncontrollable factors such as the economy. In fiscal year 2015-16, we received 328 water quality certification applications and issued 334 certifications. This eliminated a backlog of applications that had developed over several years. We also conducted 45 field inspections. Staff coordinates with the Army Corps of Engineers by participating in pre-project discussions to ensure that a project complies with state water quality standards under Section 401 of the Clean Water Act. Program staff conduct field inspections to assure compliance with the approved water quality certification. Field inspections help to ensure that water quality and wetlands are protected. A priority goal of the program is to increase our ability to conduct compliance inspections with appropriate enforcement action to be taken as needed. Program staff have targeted at least 10% of certifications for inspection. Program activities also include participation in Habitat Conservation Plan programs. A Habitat Conservation Program is required under United States Endangered Species Act for private and non-federal public projects that may result in the destruction or take of an endangered or threatened species. The plans minimize or mitigate the impact to a listed species by protecting the species habitat. Program staff participate in the interagency review team for the Central Valley in lieu fee program. The in lieu fee program provides compensatory mitigation for impacts to waters of the United States and waters of the state, including wetlands. Two performance targets have been established to ensure that the large number of applications are processed in a timely manner. The first aims to provide initial regulatory action for 95% of individual 401 applications within 30 days of receipt. The second target aims for 95% of individual 401 certifications to be issued or denied within 60 days of all supplemental information being received. Proposed priorities for the program in fiscal year 2017-18 are to continue the development of tools to streamline the water quality certification review and issuance process so that staff resources are freed up to build a stronger compliance and enforcement component. Another priority is continued staff training and development. In conclusion, the Water Quality Certification Program serves to protect the beneficial uses and quality of waters of the United States and state, including wetlands. The program is committed to the no net loss policy for wetlands and the goal of a long-term net gain in the quantity, quality, and permanence of wetland acreage.